Tyler, thanks. We often hear of people's pets being seized by the authorities due to abuse or neglect, but one area rescue organization is having to remove pets for another reason, because their owners go to jail. In one case, Belmont County Hoof and Paw was called to an area hotel when a man and woman had been jailed, bailed out, then jailed again, all in one night. In this case, they had two pet birds, a parakeet and an African gray parrot. Humane agent Julie Larish says people don't understand that when they are incarcerated, it doesn't just affect them. It affects their children, it affects anybody else in their life, and it definitely affects their, their animals. Um, a lot of times that's how we end up finding abuse cases. Uh, this was one of two animals we took that weekend due to incarcerations. So yes, and if you go to jail and you don't have somebody that's immediately taking your animals, most likely they're going to end up with a humane officer. Larish says the parrot was in a bathtub and a cat carrier so small it couldn't sit upright or move. She says its water dish had mold in it, but now both birds are getting good care in a foster home.